In this video, we are going to look at the tree network topology. Let's see how our network topology looks like. So this is a tree network. Here, essentially, a group of star networks are connected together in a bus topology. So if you remember, then a bus has a coaxial linear cable and there are workstations attached on both the ends and there is one server at the end of the bus. Now, what happens in a tree topology that instead of this individual uh, workstations that are attached to the main uh, coaxial cable, there will be different different star topologies. You have one star network here, one star network here, one star network a few kilometers away. They will be connected together in a single coaxial cable. Let's see here. See, as you can see, there is one cable that is running like this at the center, which is the backbone, and there are groups of networks, smaller networks that are attached to it. So this is how a tree network is formed. It is also called due to its structure. It is also called a hierarchical structure or hierarchical topology. Let's see what advantages it offers. The first and the foremost existing networks can be easily expanded. So you have already a network and you have suppose in an office you have created a new department that has uh, 10 people of its own. Now they need to be connected to the main network. So what can be done is those 10 people can have a small network of their own and then that their server, their central node can just be simply connected to the this main network of the office. So expansion of the existing system, existing network is very easy if you are using a tree topology. It is well suited for temporary networks like I gave an example of a new department has been created. Similarly, if there is new department or a group of people are required to come together and work for a short span of time, say a couple of months, six months. So their network could be created attached to the main network and after some period of time when their work is over, then that, that network would simply be removed from the main network. So these are the advantages. Now let's see what are the disadvantages that it offers. As you can see, technical expertise required is higher than the other network topologies that we have discussed till now. In star also, it was very simple because there was one node and it was simply connected. What happens in a tree? It's an amalgamation. It is coming together of the bus topology as well as the star topology. So technical expertise of those who are installing is on a higher side. It is an insecure network. Actually, when we are taking two types of topologies together, then the protocols that can be used have to be very bare minimum, which can be supported by both bus topology and the star topology. So some level of insecurity creeps here, which cannot be removed by using the other secure methods. Maintenance is difficult for large networks. Suppose you have one central network, okay, and you are adding, go on, you go on adding other networks. So it becomes very huge and then maintenance becomes very difficult. What could happen is that one network has gone down. So at one point, the main channel itself has broken. So detecting that and troubleshooting is quite difficult. So in this video, we have seen what a free topology looks like. In the last few videos, we have learned about different network topologies. Now, in the next video and next couple of videos, we will see that how these different topologies can come together and form different types of networks.